This is Battlefield Bad Company. We're on Xbox Series X taking a look at the original game in the Bad Company series, which is just two Battlefield games, but they're both really, really great. I particularly love the story between these characters in this first entry, and yeah, it's kind of a rather exciting and great game. We'll also hopefully be showing off multiplayer a little bit later on, but it's going to be a little dicey to see if we end up showing matches, so hopefully that happens as well. Anyways, we're a smiley kit group of characters that are trying to, well, we're very expendable, but we're trying to get out with our gold. So we're getting the original version with a little bit of a boost. It's, it's very jaggedy around the edges resolution-wise. We're still getting, I think it's like a 720p target or so back in the day at 30 FPS. And it does not feature auto HDR support, which is, I don't know, a bit of a shame, but I guess also maybe where how the lighting's done, it wouldn't really make sense to do that. And I can kind of perhaps see why they wouldn't. Anyways. This was a very interesting Battlefield title because it did focus really on the console element of the experience in terms of the different modes, the style of gameplay, and I think it really did change the Battlefield series for a long time afterwards. It really was a big entry in just how they did things and where the development focus was. I think it was kind of fascinating. Of course, great multiplayer. Uh, I really thought the campaign was quite enjoyable, quite interesting, weird, and strange, of course, this ragtag squad that, well, that looks like a weird pixelated painting, that tree. That is, that is rough. And there's like this heavy, heavy grain effect on top of things. It's, it's kind of nuts. Anyways, totally bad crew, totally expendable the whole way through, and that's exactly how you feel. There's this element of gold, obviously trying to get your gold out because you guys find it and you don't want anybody to know. That's a big part of things. Then on top of that, your team basically, well, you can go around gathering collectibles within the environment, which is kind of cool too. Skipping cutscenes if you want. I don't think we can for this one. But what I was trying to do was, you could see there's collectibles to find and, you know, special weapons and stuff. And yeah, it's, it's kind of neat. So like most Battlefield games, you get a sense of scale to it. You know, diff different difficulty options if you'd like to go um, that way. And you get an element of choice in how you tackle situations. So we've got this fairly large map here, and we've got these goals that we've got to accomplish. And this one also really did a great job of really kicking off, I think, the destructive elements of the Battlefield series. It was really interesting in that regard because you could really just smash walls, destroy buildings entirely, and that was quite a big deal, and I think even today it, it's still a very big deal in terms of just chaos. Because I was like, wow, this is unlike anything I've, I've seen before. You know, in a shooter like this, it really is kind of amazing. And nowadays you look at things, you know, it's like destruction's just kind of really a, a minor part of the experience for a lot of games. Holy, we got absolutely taken to there. That was nuts. But yeah, you know, destruction is just, it's commonplace, it really is. Now you're just sort of breaking part, like, tiny parts of games, that's just kind of how it works. But here you could literally just, you know, sit there and, uh, you know, and you can cut down a tree. Like, you can, like, legit just, for no reason other than you want to, you can just totally smash a tree to bits, which is kind of, I don't know, nuts, a little bit exciting. And then you can totally just smash these walls up. I'm trying to find out where that is, there we go. And you know, eventually we take out enough walls, this building's just going to completely fall down, which I think is absolutely thrilling. And you got to keep in mind, back in the day, this was like just the most wildest thing in the world to me. I, I think I saw it first at a friend's house because we were either renting it or he was buying it or something. But I was just like, even from the menu music, I was like, okay, I gotta jump into this. And yeah, it really sort of kickstarted. Why doesn't that wall come down? Is this one of those buildings where you can't fully take it down? Let me, let me see here. Yeah, and it just kind of really launched my, uh, well, love and interest in the Battlefield series. I mean, obviously it's a lot smaller in scale, but I spent so much time doing, like, like a rush and everything like that. It really was a kind of a blast. I don't know if I want to do snipers, I'm more like the M4. But yeah, you get a wide range of different vehicles and setups and ways to battle with your, your squad. Or, you know, if you play the online too, that's kind of fun as well. And it's just a really well done game. It really is interesting, and I think if you even go back to it just to play like the story, you'll actually have a really fun time with it. Obviously, you know, it hasn't held up 
perfectly well. Holy the hostility from these other guys with like the uh, vehicle attacks. I do not remember these problems. Oh, we're all the way back here? This is ridiculous. Screw this, I'm not dealing with this situation. But <laughs> yeah, that's also kind of the beauty of it is you can go wild. You don't have to specifically follow the rules of engagement. You can go nuts and split off into different areas and cause all kinds of problems for everybody and do them however you want to. That's kind of the joy of it. Oh, wow, an explosive barrel thing. I wonder what that's going to do. And then just cause like this crazy level of mayhem, which is just such a blast. And I think this is one of the the later levels in the game. I had an opening to a segment with like a chopper and I was like, I think that's right at the end of the game. So I had to pick a, a different checkpoint. And I remember this one because this is par for the course. So this one has like some rather funny moments that I don't think we're necessarily going to get to showing off wise. So uh, I think those that are familiar with the game will have a good laugh at uh, what exactly I'm talking about. But yeah, let, let's just say par for the course is a very uh, literal sort of golfing type of situation. Anyways, wacky game. Oh jeez, I am getting ugh, killed. Still getting killed. Still having a rough time here trying to battle these guys. But I think the beauty of it was, in comparison to a lot of other shooters, whereas if somebody like hiding in a building or hiding somewhere that I can't get at them, I can just take down a wall. <laughs> now, obviously, it feels very simple today, but still, I don't even think modern Battlefield games necessarily have the full destructive-destructive element that this one had, where you could literally feel like, I think you could take almost any of the buildings almost, like, entirely to the ground, which is so exciting. And you just feel like a complete demos expert, and the way the walls kind of crumble, it was... It was really exciting. I don't know. I, I felt it was really special and something that was unique Ooh, for its time, and it still holds up so surprisingly well today in so many ways. Oh, you're still alive. Jeez. Okay, well, we'll take um, we'll take this sort of vehicle and hopefully not uh, destroy the environment too much of our vehicle in these treads and stuff. Okay, we gotta wait for this thing to kind of go down. But I think, you know, style-wise, it's actually a very cool kind of game. Great cast of characters, interesting narrative, decently lengthy in terms of the scope and the style that it provides, and it's just fun. The, that's the main thing, is it's just like a really great game. Something that you don't really, like you don't see these kinds of stories in Battlefield anymore because they're doing the war stories thing where it's all standalone missions, which are cool, you know, they, they do their thing, but there was something I think truly special about coming in here and just... It's, it's like enjoying these weird characters because we, we haven't gotten a, a game like this battlefield wise in a long time and i think that's a bit of a shame i've always wanted the the third release and obviously you can see i've kind of presented um, well back on me too as well on the channel if you've ever wanted to see that one in action but yeah that's kind of nice to jump in here and take a look at these games holy that thing is we've got to take out some walls here i am really wanting to see this whole kind of place go down. I'm just trying to think of what is the reverse. There we go. That's yeah, reversing. Come on. Really? Get that vehicle out. There we go. I'm gonna take down some walls. I don't know. You get a wide range of vehicles, weird situations, quirky characters, battles, a sense of freedom and the challenge of trying to figure out what exactly you're doing in order to finish those missions because like I said you can go anywhere we went one way before and it wasn't working for us so now we come over here and we're causing mayhem on this side of the area going directly down the hill like a crazy person I think that's kind of fun you, you're not restricted to specifically do a linear sort of thing which again makes this battlefield title a little bit more unique than others so that's kind of really cool to see in action and to have a good time with, and why are these walls not crumbling? I want this building to fall! Again, I think if this is a building you can actually knock down. Is it not crumbling still? This is like one of the toughest buildings I've ever seen. It's, it's totally going to be worth it. It's just going to smash down, it's just going to be exciting. I don't think we can actually knock that wall out. Any other walls we can take out? Oh, well, almost gone. What about that one? 
Come on, crumble for me. This is so satisfying to see it break down, and this is why it's kind of I mean, a little bit crazy that we're not seeing this sort of thing yield to my destruction. Because I can actually just shoot the thing, but that's a little disappointing. Anyways, I, I think that's good about enough for a bad company. You know, it gives you an idea of what the game was like, and a little, maybe a little bit of how the characters talked, and how you dealt with things, and hopefully next you'll see the multiplayer, but, you know, that might not be the case either. Why don't you break? This is the multiplayer component of the game, and yeah, you can actually find matches, which is kind of surprising. I tried first late at night, so there's one or two people, but then I went during the day, and yeah, there's actually like a full lobby that I was able to join into. That's kind of crazy. But anyways, yeah, the multiplayer is still quite a blast. I certainly enjoyed it back in the day. It got me into Battlefield as much as I am nowadays. And it was kind of fantastic. So obviously the lobby sizes are a lot smaller uh, at this point than they are nowadays, which makes sense as the multiplayer evolves. And it's like really, really grainy in this multiplayer. You know, to seem to notice it even more in this one, but I guess the whole game's got like a real strong sense of like a film green on it, it looks like. But anyways, yeah, the multiplayer is really cool because there's large scale environments and then you can like just totally decimate and change up the environment. Somebody hiding up in a second story uh, building, throw in a noob tube, blow up the wall, they, they can't sit there and shoot down anymore. It's gone. <laughs> and I, I always thought that was kind of fun and cool, then you got the smiley grenades that you can throw, and a neat sense of progression as you do a rush, and you know, it's just, it was a really well done multiplayer, and you get like ribbons and stuff for doing things, and then dog tags if you uh, shank somebody in the back, it's kind of cool. I just thought they did a really good job with the multiplayer in this one. I thoroughly enjoyed it, and it was kind of fun playing it here. I was like, oh, okay, this is this is just as fun as I remember it being. It was kind of really cool to jump into. And then on top of that, the destruction is really cool, because even nowadays we don't get such splintered destruction. Like when you knock wooden stuff down, it really breaks apart, which is super cool. Of course, a wide range of different weapons and class setups. Spawning with your squad so you can play with friends. And of course, just lots of different ways to battle one another across a few different modes. Just generally well done, well handled, and fun to play. I had a, a really good time doing this. And again, jumping back into it, it still feels really great. I, I don't know how else to describe it. It's just like, you know, it feels like I've never left almost, despite it having been like a, a very very long time since I played this particular one's multiplayer but yeah it was kind of just an absolute treat that I was actually able to come across people like I didn't think that was a thing but no it's it's kind of amazing especially considering how old this title is and you know you look at the other battlefield titles and I think in general this franchise is like surprisingly still lively despite being so old it's genuinely impressive that people still jump into it. But I mean, this first entry was just really, really well done. Truly enjoyable, great multiplayer action. It really did feel competitive and, you know, dynamic, and it felt really back and forth as you're kind of battling along with your, your tickets and attacking the positions and stuff. I just, I thought it was great. Oh, dog tag! Probably the first dog tag I've taken in, like, oof, I don't know, years. Years and years and years. It's been so long since I've been back into this one, but wide range of weapons, uh, different ways to kind of work through the world, of course like a leveling system as well, because multiplayer games had to have that back then, and still do today obviously, but more expanded. And yeah, it's just like a really, really great, genuinely well done multiplayer experience on the console. And I think that was a big thing too, is that the fact that they were able to deliver this type of, you know, content on in multiplayer back then, I think it was a really big deal, and on console, I think it really did sort of push and really define a little bit more of the online space at the time, just because we hadn't really seen maps of the scale, we hadn't really seen levels like this, and it, it really just was fun. You know, I had a great time playing it like alone with, with friends, we had a few people we'd play with back in the day, it was, it was great. <laughs> yeah, trying to capture these positions, take people out, uh, again throwing the smiley grenades. Have a nice day! Always funny, always hilarious. Yeah, this the spawning system is still even Battlefield now, you, you get the right spawn, you can just absolutely eliminate people. Oh, it's a kill steal. I wish I could have had that guy. Anyways, 
yeah, you get all these, like, trophy things. They're kind of a nice little extra just for unlocking. I don't know, it, it feels really competitive. It, it looks really good. I, I think the multiplayer holds up quite well, and if you want to check it out, you can pretty easily. Like, it wasn't even that difficult, which I think is... A uh, true treat, really, you know, that I was able to just hop in and, and find people regularly during the day. Even at night, you know, you just get like a little bit of a match going, I think that's kind of impressive. It just offers a lot of different ways to play, things to blow up, stuff to do. Really well done, and in general, Battlefield Bad Company, it's a, it's a great title, it, it really is, I think it holds up pretty well. I think it's got a neat story, I think it's got a good multiplayer component. I think it offers a lot of action, and it's just kind of a lot of fun to play. And, yeah, look at me doing all well here. It's fantastic. It's that next-gen advantage, am I right? I don't know. Kind of cool. I think it stands the test of time, this one, and I think it's still a lot of fun to play. And like all Battlefield titles, absolutely delightful for carnage and destruction.